Hello everyone. This is Ashwin Kulkarni welcoming you all in this quantum computing learning journey. I hope you all are doing safe and you all all are learning something new every day. So, till now we have learned about single qubit gates, uh, basics of quantum computing and in the last video we have started about multi qubit gates and where we uh, discussed the first one which is C0 gate. Now this video is in continuation of that uh, and it is it is uh, of the special property of C0 gate which is phased kickback. So here uh, we we will uh, learn about uh, something special uh, with uh, equal superposition states and uh, with with composition of C0 gate and how that um, gives an output. And this this uh, video is uh, you know, will be really interesting to brush up the basics of uh, quantum computing again. So let's get started. Let's get started with the phased kickback. What is it? Uh, it? It is a special property with control gates. Now, uh, what really uh, this name signifies is uh, you can basically transform your phase phases of the quantum uh, quantum bits or qubit in the reverse order. That's what it says. So this phase kickback. So kickback means you are reversing the phases in some manner. So for example, your control controlled gates uh, control gates uh, does other qubit. But this phenomenon in, is reverse of that. That's how it is. Now, what is the reverse? So, uh, I, if you remember, but but uh, okay, I would highly recommend you to check my previous video of C not gate before starting this uh, this video because that is highly highly super important and required for this one. So, if you remember in the last one, uh, what we have discussed is. In the C0 gate, uh, your controlled based on the controlled bit, your target qubit uh, phase gets changed, right? So if your control qubit is set as one, then your target qubits gets flipped. That's how it works. Now this is this is the reverse phenomenon of this. Based on your target qubit, your control qubit gets changed, and that's how it is. So. So that's why it is called as kickback phase, kickback of phase, reversibility of phases, right? Now, how this happens? But uh, this involves equal superposition states and C0 gate. So what is equal superposition state? That means these plus and minus are equal superposition states. You remember uh, in last uh, previous to previous or those couple of videos we have discussed this uh, this concept so equal superposition as in these uh, plus is 1 by root 2 of 0 plus 1 by root 2 of 1 so it has both 50% uh, of probability happening in 0 and 1 and same with the minus but with the reverse phase so that's why these are called equal superposition states now when you apply C0 gate of course, C naught gate will get applied on two different qubits, right? It just cannot be applied on the plus qubit, plus uh, superposition state or minus. It should be applied on on set of two qubits, right? So when you apply your C naught gate on these equal superposition states, the phase kickback happens. How it works is, if you apply your C naught gate on on the uh, on the qubit state as plus and minus. Then your output will be minus minus. So if you observe here, the first qubit got changed to, to minus, not the second one. In our previous only C naught. So if you remember C naught of one zero results one one, right? So based on this, this gets changed. But here based on the second one your first qubit got changed and this happens only when your equal superposition state is in the minus state so that's how it works how how now we will see here with the help of mathematics so let's get started so here 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल यर प्लस इनिशियली इट इज इन द प्लस एंड माइनस सो यू अप्लाय सॉरी इट इज इन अफकोर्स जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो नो वन यू वंस यू अप्लाय दिस प्लस ऑन इट इट गेट्स चेंज टू वन सो करंटली इट इज जीरो एंड वन वन साइड मार्ट गेट्स अप्लाइड दिस इज प्लस एंड दिस इज माइनस नो वेन यू अप्लाय सी नॉट गेट ऑन दिस your outputs are uh, your output uh, basically your outputs got changed to minus and minus okay so this is how uh, this is how it will be now uh, how how your output got changed is so this is the x gate again and this is the x gate and this is the edge gate so this is the minus and minus how how um, how it is let's see so your plus and minus state can be represented mathematically as 1 by root 2 0 plus 1 by root 2 of 1 this is the plus state and this is 1 by root 2 of 0 and minus 1 by root 2 of 1 this is minus state so if you combine them if you multiply them then it will be 1 by 2 0 0 this this mathematical equation will get formed now once you apply c not get on top of that so c not will get applied on each of these uh, pair of uh, qubits right so c not of 0 0 c not of 0 1 c not of 1 0 c not of 1 1 now based on that c not of 0 0 you you so uh, let's pause it here and try to calculate by your own so c not of 0 0 should be 0 0 c not of 0 1 should again be uh, 0 1 c not of 1 0 can be will be c not of 1 1 because based on the control bit target qubit got flipped and similarly c not of 1 1 what is 1 0 right now if you again uh, de transform it it will be 1 by root 2 of 0 minus 1 by root 2 of 1 into 1 by root 2 of 0 minus 1 by root 2 of 1 how because 0 0 is in the positive state 0 1 in the negative then again 1 1 minus minus in the positive and this 1 and 0 in the negative so this is how it should be so this is the representation of minus equal superposition state and this is the representation of minus equal superposition state so this is how this is it this is the mathematical proof of how your equal superposition state plus minus gets changed to minus minus okay now if you apply this similar thing on each of these uh, so there are two different uh, qubit states so the combination of it uh, with results four different qubit states so plus 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 minus minus plus and minus minus right if you apply c not gates on these four so your plus plus gets changed to plus plus why because your second qubit is not in the minus state your plus minus gets changed to minus minus that's what we have seen your minus plus will remain unchanged and your minus minus gets changed to plus minus so this these are the four phase kick back phase kick back results okay now uh, so so this we need to uh, prove this equality as lhs equals to rhs so this particular circuit so this is circuit let's say circuit 2 and this is circuit 1 these two circuits are similar and it has an application of phased kickback so how, how that uh, that we are going to see so you know that uh, just just by seeing this circuit how uh, you should get that intuition that yes this this has an output of phased kickback how if you see that your c not gate is um, it has previous gates as head mart gates so of course the previous uh, outputs will be in the superposition states and those are equal superposition states and if if you apply the c not gate on top of it your phase kick back will happen for sure now let's take an example uh, directly with some uh, some initial values and then we'll see so assume that this is 1 sorry this is 0 and this is 1 now here you you can see your c not gate is upside down so don't get confused directly as this is control and this is uh, target uh, target qubit gate right so here this works as controlled and this is target qubit since your controlled qubit is 1 your target qubit will get changed to 1 so you so these outputs will be 1 and 1 right 
Now, same thing we'll apply here. Is this is zero and this is one, right? So assume that to to make it one, you apply x get on top of it. But I'm not considering that here. Now, if you're if you apply head mart gate on zero state, so again, please, please, please watch it the video before the last one where I have explained about the head mart gate. Now, if you apply zero on the head mart gate, it will get changed to one. Of course, sorry, it will get changed to plus, right? And if you apply head mart gate on the one state, it will get changed to minus, right? So if you don't remember, again, go and watch the previous one. I'll uh, attach the link in the description. Now, since you have your states in the equal superposition states, here, what, what is the equation of this particular thing? What is this? So this is plus minus and you are applying C naught on it. So this is what it is. Now, we already know the results of it, right? So C naught of plus and minus is minus minus, right? So this will till here, it will get changed to minus and this will get changed to minus. How? Because your phase kickback happened here and that's, that's the reason we have learned the above concept. So your phase kickback happened here and once your, uh, your uh, control bit is plus and your target bit is minus, if you apply C naught on top of it, it will get changed to minus minus and that's what happened here. Now, if you remember, there is very beautiful property about the quantum gates that you can get back the original state from the output state. For example, if you apply head mart gate on zero, you get plus, right? If you apply head mart gate on plus, you will get back zero. Okay. Same with the uh, one. If you apply this, you will get minus. And if you apply again head mart gate on minus, you will get back one. That's up. So since uh, this is uh, this has happened with the same gates, you can do it with uh, different gates as well. Now, if you apply head mart gate on the minus, you get one here. And if you apply again head mart gate on minus, you get one here. And that is what this and this is same one. And this and this is same as one. That's how it is, okay? So we have proved that if you do, your, if you make your C naught get upside down, then it is very well equivalent with the phase kickback circuit followed by two head mart gates. That's it. So I hope you like this video and uh, you learned a very, so this was very, very interesting concepts. It is one of my favorite concepts in this uh, quantum theory. So I hope you like this and uh, if yes, then please do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.